there are several factors which decide uh, whether an artist is established. Now, um, when you say established, it's actually we are talking about the whole idea of creation is about creating something that nobody has ever tried and done and yet it has to have this universal appeal. In this whole journey, it's your own self trying to portray something which is uh, different. The established artist has his own style, his own language of, it's a language which he creates. So this language is supposed to actually uh, be felt visualized and uh, experienced by the audience and it is like you know it's groping in the dark actually to start with so when we say established it takes a really long time for a artist's journey to because it's never complete until an artist always keeps painting right till the end of time I think it is very difficult to say when somebody is established or not but we can say that okay uh, it may be 30 years 40 years 50 years and we have the greats of like uh, Hussein and Raza whom now we they are the masters of Indian contemporary art where we can say that they have spent an entire lifetime which involves 80 to 90 years of work before you can assess the whole journey so um, midway in life it's really difficult to decide which is actually a stage but yes there are few factors which I can which come to my mind immediately are uh, where you can say that okay there is a certain price uh, from the monetary part of it the price has to actually escalate it has to appreciate in time so something that cost some x amount has to go into x plus one two and whatever it might be you have to have a very constant regular following you have to be recognized now how, when does the recognition come when you're visible all over when your work is visible and of course artists today in today's time also needs to have that connect with the audience because or, what is an artist when he's buying a piece of work of an established artist what is he doing he's actually taking a part of the artist back home because that is what art is about so when that is recognized when that has some sort of a brand value you can say an artist is established he has to have a constant inquiry about that artist in the in the market also if you're talking of the monetary aspect of art because money is important so and so artist is very expensive what does that mean and uh, the the bigger the artist the more well known the artist it is extremely expensive it goes into the highest levels of luxury segment it is an investment value today for very serious level of art it is investment we cannot uh, sort of just say that I am doing the same thing again and again for years to come because there is an element of creation as well there has to be some development it cannot be static it cannot be stay put basically I would say these are the very important factors when you say established others what is established it is and because a painting is a painting it's intangible and there is it's very subjective so it's nothing like good and bad it is one of those things where I think uh, it, it takes a lot of time so yes time and how consistently how popular how much your work has been well received collected by many many galleries and the whole uh, you know the art circles and the whole fraternity of art so there is a recognition factor also which is very important in this whole uh, when we say an artist has you know the stage where he ca he is recognized art in India has taken a new dimension basically after post independence almost like 50 years of independence people have been able to have they had the money also to sort of invest in art so although global art in the West is very evolved in terms of appreciation in India although we had a whole lot of uh, very very fabulous art in the early centuries but to actually uh, get the monetary benefits or the auction prices for art that's when uh, towards 2000 is where Indian art started making an art uh, making a sort of a mark in the auctions in a little bigger way and uh, the gallery culture came into India that's when the promotion of artists started which is extremely important in terms of art I think uh, a lot of different different art started coming up in different uh, areas of our life uh, where uh, art probably reached its highest in the last 20 years I would say in today's world social media has become really very big 
and uh, especially post the pandemic i think uh, we have all been able to uh, realize the importance of uh, online connections and uh, art also has taken uh, there's a big change in the art the way uh, you sort of uh, show your art because it's easily accessible on the online platform and uh, as such it is very important today that an artist has a connection with the audience along with his art also the visibility is also very important for artists to be online along with their work which they can show globally they have to have a face to it and there is a very thin line which actually decides how much you want to uh, be visible because uh, you know there is has to be a mysterious quality about you also which is extremely important for an artist about investment in art i feel that uh, yes uh art is not like your stocks and shares which can be uh, you can trade on it you know art it has to appeal to your heart first so i think primarily for any investor he first needs to look at the art like it then do a little bit of research on it because that's extremely important to know where the artist is coming from that is where you decide which part of the segment of art that whether it's upcoming art whether it's the medium range of established artists or you want the masters work in the masters category i think uh, it would be a safe investment for people who want to uh, put that kind of money but you have to make sure that you have original artworks which are not very easy to find in today's world and uh, because all the good art that is available of the senior artists are only available in the auctions if you want to invest that money then you should go for a safe uh, painting which is or an artwork which is not fake so you have to do a lot of homework on that i think that you know art makes us uh, sensitized basically to the environment makes your home warm makes you know it's for people who are sympathetic towards their environment and nature now when uh, a person wants to really uh, you know look at art he's got to go from his heart he has to like the art collect it with a lot of research look at it a couple of times many more times before he just decides to make a quick buy the painting is something which is there forever it's something that you can hand over for generations and painting is something that nobody wants to give away very easily so i think a part of your investment should go into art because it is very important for society also generally to feel uh, compassionate towards your environment okay when asked that what is my strategy for connecting with people i would say that uh, i'm generally a people's person i think so i thrive on you know connecting with people and an audience so um, of course i enjoy my work so without my work i wouldn't want to meet anybody i think but once the work is through and then you are a spectator to your own work and uh, the audience is something that uh, you know you you gather along in your whole journey and i have been fortunate because right from childhood and i've also played badminton at the national level i have had three national titles as a junior so i have uh, been fortunate right from sportsmen to musicians my mother was a classical singer so i have had uh, the opportunity to meet very very important people right from childhood and art is something anyway where you sort of spread joy everywhere so um, that is what i always do and my paintings are something something that represent the beauty of nature currently everybody is talking about nft in the art market now uh, i'm sure all of you all uh, are aware of that one painting where an artist for i think almost a year every day he posted one image on instagram and it was a collage of 365 or something if i'm not mistaken images which was a collage and then it made big waves in the art market now whether it is only for digital uh selling from hand you know from one person to another we have still not experienced sales of that sort or where it's changed hands 
with the audience or with buyers or with investors so not very familiar how it's going to work in the art market the art is very connected with it is it has a direct relation to the economy and how uh, your country is actually on the way to progress so uh, once everything else falls in line i'm sure art is going to be the next big boom because once things are in place everything is going to have a completely new perspective today i've had several thoughts and i've shared them with you if you have anything else that you would like to ask i would be only happy through dlc if you s send me your questions i would be happy to answer them and uh, yes happy viewing <laughs>